I never would have thought that I would have seen the day where I'm making a video about this guy, um, Daniel Jones, the quarterback, um, the, the pencil in right now starting quarterback for the New York Giants. Um, I usually think that if I, have, if I would have ever had to make a video about Daniel Jones that I would be running out of ideas and running out of content to produce on this channel. Well, I guess we've reached that fucking point here where I'm officially out of ideas and I'm officially out of my fucking mind because we're doing a video on, today's upload is going to be about fucking Daniel Jones. First of all, let me address something. Daniel Jones is not a starting quarterback. Daniel Jones is not a backup quarterback. He is not a third string quarterback. He is not a fourth string quarterback. He is a glorified high school fucking quarterback who is one read and run who cannot process coverage. Please turn the all 22 tape on. He barely makes progressions. He panics under any sort of pressure. He is not a quarterback. He is an athlete playing quarterback. He is basically just, he's just, he's a wide receiver playing quarterback. He's got decent, like below average wide receiver speed and he's playing quarterback. So I think he should probably change to tight end or wide receiver, or I don't know, he should go work at a fucking T Lipton T factory or something. Cause the guy is fucking trash, man. I usually don't get pissed about players, but I get pissed whenever I watch Daniel Jones try to play quarterback in the National Football League. I don't know what the New York Giants, what any anyone in the front office, what Dable, what, what Joe Shane, why the fuck they are hitching their wagon to this guy and what they owe this guy. Because they know he is one of the worst starting quarterbacks in the entire National Football League, yet they continue to trot him out there week after week, month after month, year after year. And it's infuriating to say the very least. And if you're a Giants fan, how the fuck have you not said, fuck this team, I'm done. I don't want to watch this quarterback. I'm going to go be a fan of a different team. Or I'm going to stop being a fan for now. But once we get rid of Daniel Jones, then I'll be a fan again of the team once we get an actual quarterback in the NFL draft. They haven't done that. They haven't made that big time marquee move and changed quarterbacks because they need to get a fucking QB. Once you turn the tape on, the tape is not fucking live. This guy is not a starter or a backup or third string. He is a practice squad high school-esque quarterback that is not even a good scout team quarterback if we're being honest. And I wanted to address the nut riders of Daniel Jones that are going to be in this comment section. I fucking know they're going to come in droves. They're, they're probably not even this far into the video. They probably you know, clicked on the video, watched it for 30 seconds, paused it, typed a mean me mean message in the comments, entered it, and then there it is. It's probably fucking hell for review because that's how YouTube is. They don't let you say bad words on YouTube anymore. That's not my problem though. But they will t give every excuse as to why Daniel Jones is not a bad quarterback in the NFL. They will blame everyone they can. They'll blame the GM for building and constructing a, a quote-unquote poor team on paper at least. They'll blame the coaching, they'll, bl they'll blame the offensive coordinator, hell, they'll blame the defensive coordinator, they'll even blame the defense for allowing like 20 points, and like, oh, well, the, the defense allowed 20 points, if, you know, they just score, would have scored 21 less points, would have won, because they, they fucking scored like six points or something, and the Daniel Jones nut, nut huggers have to, you know, they have to have something, some sort of straws they can grasp at to, some sort of reason to defend the guy, essentially. And it's the most illogical fucking reason. And you hear the, oh, they, he has no weapons. Oh, you know, Saquon Barkley got hurt. And he's now an eagle. He's on a good team now. Oh, the offensive line sucked. Oh, you know, this. Oh, that. They'll make every excuse just to never, ever admit in their life that they were wrong, that Daniel Jones is fucking trash. <laughs> I mean, it's like this guy is, I'm laughing because it's funny. I don't believe that people like this are, exist. They're like fucking drones. Like, how do you defend this guy this much? without realizing that what you're saying is stupid and and what you're saying is not even correct because this guy's won one playoff game in what, six, seven years in the league? And it's not that he's any better than the quarterbacks that were fucking drafted ahead of him. Dwayne Haskins, rest in peace, really didn't have, you know, the greatest of NFL careers. He could have been something with the Steelers, but unfortunately, you know, he tragically died. But then there's Kyler Murray who is fucking garbage. I don't like Kyler Murray, I think he fucking sucks. Um, but you would have been honestly better off trading to one to get Kyler Murray because maybe you would have won more than playoff game, more than one playoff game, excuse me, with Kyler Murray. Even though he is a one read and run glorified high school quarterback, just like Daniel Jones is, he's a way better at playing quarterback. Like I'll admit, it, he's actually better at throwing the ball. He actually has arm strength, unlike Daniel Jones, who just has a cream puff fucking high school arm. You could take a, a five-star recruit um, from like California or something. And they'll have better arm strength immediately in the NFL than Daniel Jones. He has a, one of the worst arms in the NFL out of all the starting quarterbacks. 
Yet once again, the Daniel Jones Nut Huggers continue to defend this guy. It's the Daniel Jones Defense Force comes out in full effect whenever he stinks up the joint with a dismal performance. And then they immediately go and blame the team. They go and blame the coordinators, blame the coaching, blame the staff. They blame everyone. They blame the fans and the media for putting pressure on him. It's fucking New York. What do you expect? It's New York fucking media. What do you want them to say after a terrible fucking performance? Oh, Daniel, you were great today. Your team just sucked. How do you feel about this? They're not going to fucking say that. They're going to tell you the God honest fucking truth. All right? And the honest to God fucking truth is that Daniel Jones is a trash high school caliber fucking quarterback. He was a bum at Duke. He probably was a bum in high school. He's been a bum quarterback his entire career. Yet the, once again, the Giants have hitched their fucking wagon to this guy like he's some elite talent at the quarterback position. This guy is a fucking scrub. Turn on the tape, he can't fucking read coverage. He is awful, and he will never be good without elite weapons. And I can't wait for the excuses to come flowing in once he sucks again. And he throws like 20 interceptions. It will be funny as fuck. So Giants fans, um, more like, no, Giants, real Giants fans don't want Daniel Jones as their quarterback. Um, Daniel Jones nut huggers in the comments, keep typing, keep getting mad because this is really, this is it for you. This is, this is the final saga of Daniel Jones' career in the National Football League. It's coming to an end. This is the final year he'll ever start. The Giants will realize their mistake next year and probably draft Carson back. They're gonna get the, they're gonna get the top three pick. They're gonna pick a quarterback because Daniel Jones is fucking atrocious. You cannot, you cannot make one excuse for this guy next year. There's no excuses. Clean slate. If he's, if he's garbage, he's garbage. Simple as that. Thank you all for watching. This has been Mr. Truth, and this is nothing but the truth.